Hi, my name is Jim Pfeiffer from Packet Video. In this tutorial video, we're going to show you the basics of setting up a home network. The main goal of this video is to show you enough about setting up your home network so that you can set up your Twonky Media Server or Twonky Media Manager software and successfully play media on your other devices on the network. In today's demonstration video, I'm going to be using a small home networking router from Cisco. But this is common to a lot of home networking routers that we'd use for such an application. So what you notice is on the back, there is a setting of, of these ports, uh, these different ports where you can connect an uh, Ethernet cable labeled 1 through 4. And it's, it's labeled Ethernet. That's the place where you'd connect devices in the home. So if you have uh, different types of devices that you want to be able to see your PCs, you connect them through here. Likewise, if something's connected to the router through the Wi-Fi, it's going to be looking on the Ethernet side of this router. The other side of the router is really things that would be outside the home. Uh, for example, things coming in from the, the Internet. So you see one labeled in orange, they're called Internet. Another feature that these home networking routers have is, is the uh, wireless access. Wireless access allows you to connect to the same router without a physical cable. I should also explain uh, some other terms that are commonly used for these routers. You're going to hear the words LAN and WAN used. So LAN stands for Local Area Network. That refers to all the devices inside your home that are all connected to the router and can all see each other. WAN refers to the term Wide Area Network. Wide Area Network is another name used for the internet at large. So the orange jack in the back would be connected to the Wide Area Network, the WAN, the other jacks or the wireless access would be connected to the LAN, the local area network. So another thing the router does is it actually serves up a network address to everything that's connected to it. So in my case, uh, on my PC and also on my music player, I have unique network addresses for each one of those. The router does this using a protocol called DHCP. It stands for Dynamic Host Control Protocol. Most routers will have an IP address that's, that's fixed, and generally that address for most routers by default would be http colon slash slash 192.168.1.1. And for most routers, if you hit that in your browser, you'll be presented with a login page where you can go and, and change any settings on your router. The only reason I mention this is that if you ever need to do things like turn on the wireless access and set up a wireless name for your home network, this kind of thing. This is where you would go to do that. I should be able to launch the Twonky Media software and actually see the other devices on the network. When I launch the Twonky Media software, uh, the media manager is able to find my own player, which is just my own local renderer, but also this Music Pal. Uh, this tells me that it, it was able to find the Music Pal on the network through the router, and now I can uh, push content to it. If you hook up everything the way I showed in this simple example, things should work pretty well for the most part. The times where you can actually run into some problems is where you might have a firewall in between your client devices and the server. For example, if you have a firewall running on your PC and the server's there, then you might need to adjust some settings on the firewall so that the server works properly. The specific ports that the Twonky Media Server uses that need to operate through a firewall would be ports TCP 9000, UDP ports 1030, 1900, and 9080. I hope you found these tips useful for setting up your home network. For other information on the Twonky Media Server software, see www.twonkyforum.com. Thank you.